All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Google Sheets to create a P chart. And uh, P chart is a, a tool that helps you to evaluate the proportion defective um, of something produced by a process. So as you can see in the spreadsheet that we have, uh, we've got um, given dates. Uh, we've got uh, how many of something was created uh, within specifications and how many out of specifications. And we have a, a total for each one. And uh, just for reference, I have the upper and lower control limits uh, that we'll be using, uh, a formula that we'll be using for the P chart. Uh, one point of, um, one comment uh, or one note that I did want to make that for this P chart, I am um, not going to be using um, moving upper and lower control limits. Uh, so for most P charts, the n uh, changes uh, with each sample size. So as you can see for for uh, each of these rows, uh, the sample size uh, used for each is different. Uh, but for this exercise, just because of, uh, of you know what we're trying to accomplish here and uh, just because of the business process that we're, we're reviewing, uh, I, I am just going to use the average uh, sample size. So I'll go ahead and get that. The average sample size say equals the average sample size. Okay, so the other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need the average uh, proportion defective. Defective. All right, so for that, we're going to say equals C2 divided by D2. And this is something I always forget to do. I'm going to go ahead and round that to three decimal places. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so now we've got the proportion uh, defective, and we're going to get this uh, p hat here. And again, I failed to round on both of these. By the end of this video, we'll see if I can remember to do that consistently. All right, that looks cleaner. All right, so now again, we've got um, uh, for each day, we've got the uh, total that was created, the, the total that was out of specifications, and the proportion that was uh, out of specifications. So what we can do is we can take a quick look at this and we can see what this does look like uh, from a chart perspective. Uh, now, the reason I selected all of these columns is because I'm having some problems with my mouse right now. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a bit and delete the columns that we don't need. All right, and so there you can see the daily proportion defective. All right, but uh, it's not really telling us a lot. So we're going to do a couple of things here. We're going to create a center line. Uh, to show us the average, and then we're going to create the upper and lower control limits. So let me delete that chart, and I'm going to create the center line, and we're going to create the lower control limit and the upper control limit. So the center line is going to be pretty easy. It's just the average proportion, and we're going to F4 that to lock that in. So that's going to give us our center line. Then we're going to get us the lower control limit. And the lower control limit is this formula right here. So it's p hat minus 3 times the square root. And we're going to punch that in. And we're going to say equals. We're going to lock it in. And minus 3 times square root.
times 1 minus divided by, and again we're going to use the average uh, sample size. All right, one of the things I think I've got in here is we're going to F4 all these to lock them in. All right, and once again, all right, so then for the, as you can see, for the upper control limit, it's essentially the same formula. The only difference is you got to change that negative sign to a plus. We'll autofill that down. And so now we've got everything that we need to create our, our p-chart. Insert a chart. And again, I'm having troubles with my mouse, so I'm going to get rid of these extra fields here. Uh, and we've got essentially the elements of a p-chart. Uh, one of the things I want to do real quick is I'm going to change this. And so we've got the point size. And then this one here, I'm going to try to match as closely as I can with, I'll tell you what, we'll just use that. And uh, now we have essentially the elements of a P chart. So here you can see where it's going out of um, the, the control limits uh, periodically. Uh, but uh, this uh, is essentially it. Uh, thank you and um, for watching. And uh, please uh, let me know if uh, you have any questions.